Hey everybody, and welcome to Let's Play Nancy Drew, Secret of the Scarlet Hand, game number six in the Nancy Drew series. So I'm really excited about this game because now I can play Nancy Drew games on Steam. However, I was a little mistaken in thinking that I would be able to keep my current uh, recording settings while doing so. So I'm going to have to basically record this the same way I've been recording the last few games. But that's alright, because it's not too hard to switch between the two. So let's go ahead and get started. Welcome to my latest case, Secret of the Scarlet All right, senior detective, we know how what we're doing here. Either. Dear Dad, greetings from the new deputy curator at Beecho Museum in Washington, D.C. I miss you, by the way. How's Africa? I sure hope this letter reaches you in Wagadugu before you move on to Nairobi. Wagadugu. So I got the internship. Your old friend Franklin Rose was awfully nice to submit my name to the rest of the members of the museum's board of directors. What an opportunity while I'm in between cases. As you probably know, the museum specializes in ancient Maya culture. My supervisor is going to be Joanna Riggs, a well-known archaeologist. Maybe you've seen her name in the news recently, in conjunction with the discovery of a strange Maya monolith. Apparently, it's created quite a buzz among experts in the field. Hmm. Beach Hill plans to Maya, oh Maya. An exhibition. Just imagine, this artifact has been buried for hundreds of years, and now it's going to be unveiled to the public for the first time. The museum is short-staffed at the moment, and they're expecting such a huge turnout that they've closed their doors to prepare. I can hardly wait to dig into this exciting project and learn how archaeologists and historians solve the mysteries of ancient cultures. I'll keep you posted. Love, Nancy. Nancy Drew, I presume. I'm Joanna Riggs. Welcome to Beach Hill. I was just checking the lock on this display case. Ah. This is one of the museum's most treasured pieces, a carving of King Pakal. Ooh. Who is King Pakal? Oh, we can't Pakal see was Nancy. Was thrown at age 12. Can you imagine? That was 615 AD. He ruled for 68 years at the height of the Maya civilization. Is that jade? Yes, the Maya loved jade and used it for many of their carvings. There isn't another piece like this in the world, and it's priceless, which means I practically had to sell my own grandmother to get it. How did the museum acquire it? Mm. Leave it to Taylor Sinclair. He's a wizard when it comes to these deals. You'll meet him later. That is a close-up. Also, that thing's going to totally Nancy, get stolen, isn't you're it? You're coming on board at a critical time for Beach Hill. An exhibit of this caliber is not kid stuff. Franklin Rose assures me you're a real trooper. And I hope he's right, because I'm not here to babysit. I don't care who your father is. Well, he's in Africa, so you don't have to worry about him. I'm glad to be here. Please, tell me more about the exhibit. In addition to our permanent collection, we're borrowing rare pieces from museums and private collectors around the world. Soon we'll be sitting on the most fabulous collection of Maya artifacts ever assembled in one place. And now that we've scored the monolith, too... Beach Hill Sora Numero Uno. All right. I like being Numero Uno. Was the monolith excavated in Mexico? Yes, a hot young team of archaeologists, Americans and Mexicans both, dug it out of a cave near Palenque. Every curator from here to Siberia was trying to get a hold of it, but I'm the one who closed the deal. All righty. Why do you mention the nationalities of the archaeologists? Because in archaeology, everyone wants to be king of the sandbox. I became a curator because I want to help make artifacts available to as many people as possible. That's all that matters, isn't it? Unless you're Alejandro Del Rio. Who's that? Who's Alejandro Del Rio? Ugh, wouldn't you rather hear about the monolith? It's a massive pillar of stone, nearly 1,500 years old, with Maya glyphs carved into it. We've installed it in the garden. Wait until you see it. Well, I'm looking forward to it, but who's Alejandro? Also, come on, we know what a glyph is. How do you know it's 1,500 years old? According to Henrik, the monolith was made at the special request of King Pakal himself, but we don't know what its purpose was. Okay, who's Henrik? Who's Henrik? Henrik Vanderhoon, world-renowned expert in Maya hieroglyphics. He's the latest addition to the Beach Hill Brain Trust. I told him I don't even want to see his pointy Vander head till he's got a translation on that monolith. <laughs> Do you think the glyphs hold an important message? I really don't know. The Maya were at their peak during Pakal's reign. After he died, things began to go downhill. 
the civilization never regained the oomph it had under its most extraordinary king. What's well, sad? What was the key to Pakal's success? If the message on that monolith is from King Pakal himself, it might give us a clue. Credit for a discovery like that can only spell one thing, my dear. R-E-V-E-N-U-E. -E. Anyway, there's a list of tasks for you in the lab. Once you've knocked those off, we'll regroup. R-E-V-E-N-U-E. -E. Shouldn't I have more training? Don't worry, you'll be in the swing of things soon enough. Go ahead and take a look around the museum. I'm sure you'll find the monolith, Mui and Terrasante. Or just roll up your sleeves and hit the lab. If there's one thing I don't like in video games, it's characters that speak Spanglish. Or as one of my best friends likes to call it, Disney World Spanish. Any last advice before I get down to business? Semper ubi sabubi. Uh, does that mean always wear underwear? I think it does. I guess she, always, she also treats Latin the same way she treats Spanish. But yeah, we, we went to Disney World together once, and when we went to Epcot and we saw like all the things from Mexico, like it was so Americanized, it wasn't even funny. Maybe it's changed now, but I don't know. That thing's pretty cool. What do we have here? We have another thing. And we got some cool Latin music playing in the background. Ooh. That thing is probably my favorite. That looks pretty awesome. What else have we got here? We've got a table with magazines. Art in the Americas. Hidden Guatemala. April 2002. Wow, this game is still in that early uh, 2000s era there. An interview with Prudence Rutherford. Alright, is this Prudence Rutherford here? So she is a New York society woman who ended up in Topeka, Kansas. Okay. And she kept her maiden name. She sounds like quite a character. And, oh, she has a necklace. Wait a minute. Is that the same thing as the uh, thing that uh, Joanna was just showing us? That I need to check out. Topeka Commission for the Arts. How cultured. Oh, we can zoom in on that. Now that's fascinating. Whoops. So that's the only thing we can see there. Ooh, the music just got more mysterious. Alright, so nothing much else to see here. We got a photo, I think. I don't think it's a painting. Of the Great Plaza of Tikal, Guatemala. Cool. T-Call is, I think, a board game as well. I haven't really played it yet, though. Where's that thing that... I guess it's in another room, the jade thing that uh, Joanna showed us. Alright, so we need to find our office space, I guess, and see what we need to do. I also need to kind of get a feel for where everything is. So I believe this is where we came from, right? Oh, no, this goes outside. Whoops. Uh, Good let's... thing Franklin gave me the museum key. Oh, that's convenient. Okay, so those big doors are the entrance. So this is like the desk where you um, get tickets or something. Okay, this is the... Wait, can we put this back? There you go. This is Joanna's office. So Joanna's the curator. We know that. So this is the front desk. And there's headphones. I guess this is so people can listen to exhibits and stuff and okay so this is the map so I'm, I'm assuming this is the entrance this is where we are right now and then this is the exhibition hall where there's gonna be a bunch of stuff a temple and this is the outside okay there's there's some stuff to check out here for sure don't really see anything else here though and here's the exhibition hall cool I noticed that Joanna's office wasn't on that map. Sounds suspicious. Except not. That's not really suspicious. So what we have here? We've got a lot of stuff. That's probably going to be the case for a lot of this. More stuff. It's locked. It's well, of locked. course it's locked, Nancy. Ham radio. Cool. My dad's a ham radio operator. 
It's locked. Technically, I am too. I haven't really done it in a while, though. I'm assuming we're going to be referencing a lot of this stuff later on. Like, this is probably going to be part of a clue or something. We still don't have a phone on us. I can't wait for the day when we have a phone. I'm going to use my phone later to take pictures of all this, but not yet. I I know I'm probably going to forget this, and you guys probably are too, so when we actually need this stuff, I do want to go back and get it. But for now, I'm just going to take it easy and just look around here. I'm assuming that this stuff is going to be useful later on, though, a lot of this educational stuff. Wait a minute. This is the thing... Okay, that is not the same thing as Prudence Rutherford's thingy, so... Okay, that's pretty cool. Maya Gods, okay. Calendar Stones. Zulkin! Hey, that's another board game. Pretty complicated one, too. And it even has a board that that's uh, got this sort of thing going on with the calendar and all that. Pretty, uh unique as, as far as a board is concerned and how it works one of those games I've been meaning to check out alright so these are the celestial being gods I guess and we got rituals with lots of interesting items including a mask ooh change their appearance huh Fascinating. Maya ball game artifacts. That's pretty cool. Maya scribes, chronicle chronicler of the age. All right. I hope we get to do some actual mystery solving here. The educational stuff's fun, but I want suspects to interrogate, places to snoop around. This is another one of those symbols. I'm sure we'll need to remember. Uh, what's up here? I want to check up what check out what's up here first. Huh? I need to find a temple key card. A temple key card. Uh, I'm noticing that this one is staying on, but these ones can only be pressed one at a time, which is really weird. And now that I've hit this. Oh, this is telling me what each thing means? Is that it? Can I. Okay, so this means 19? Is that how it works? I wonder if we'll get the key card by solving this. Okay, so this means ink. So 19 ink. And I believe this next one was road, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. This... Uh... I'm going to say throne. No? North? Okay, so that's north. This is black, right? Yep. This is throne, I guess. So that means this is road, this is 19, and this is ink. Alright. Ding, ding. And what do we get? It needs a card. Oh, do I need to do that with the card inside? Interesting. Ooh, I can take stuff. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna steal from the museum here, you know. Hey, old school exhibit computer things. And I apparently need to play a game here, but I need a card to get credit for it. Okay, so I'm sensing that the thing I need to be doing is getting a card. I can look at this skull thing. That's kind of cool. This looks like another thing that takes a card. Another... Oh, I have to play a quiz. So I really do need to learn stuff. It needs a card. Okay, so I guess in order to access this place further, I need to complete the quiz. Man, this museum is making sure you actually learn things. Okay. I hope I hope this game's fun. I don't know. This is not quite looking as appealing as some of the other ones we've been playing, but I'm enjoying the atmosphere for sure. I mean, look at this place. This looks cool. So this is a carved painting.
channel. And we can listen to audio here, I guess, if we had headphones, but we don't. We've got another thing that has a tile? Okay, that was weird. Bicephalic altar. Cool. Nobleman sta standing on a captive. Okay, see, like, this will probably be a question. Tlaloc the rain god. Like, that, that will probably be a thing we'll need to know. Ooh, that looks like the uh, monolith there. Whoa. This side looks damaged. Whoa, who's that? Nancy Drew, or should I say, Detective Drew. I'm Sinclair. Whoa, how do you know that about me? Who told you I was a detective? I was at a meeting with the BOD recently, and I caught wind of your appointment and your credentials. Very impressive, if I do say so myself. Well, I'm not on a case right now, that's for sure. I'm the new deputy curator, remember? So, how's this for a specimen? Ever seen a million dollars worth of rock before? Um, actually, technically we did. Do diamonds count? Ouch. Well, they did say you were sharp. Seriously, though, thank goodness you're here. I'm afraid the museum may be in terrible jeopardy. Ah, now we get to the heart of the issue. What kind of jeopardy? Joanna told me to butt out, but I'm so fond of Beach Hill, I just hate to see it fall prey to scoundrels. Scoundrels? Like Han Solo and Lando Calrissian? What scoundrels? It's a sensitive subject. Meet me in my office later and I'll explain everything then. Where's that? Where's your office? 707 Bing Cherry Boulevard. I've got to go. Enjoy your first day at Beach Hill! Okay. Whoa, we can circle this thing. That's kind of cool. So I don't think I can actually, like, get inside. Hmm. What do you mean, hmm? That sounds like a very knowing hmm. I wonder what that means. Alright, something tells me we're going to come back to that later, so. What is this? Lady Jock Zock Vision Lintel M. Okay. Oh, I'm, please tell me I'm not going to have to remember these numbers and stuff. Wait, 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 wait. What does that say? On loan from the Wickford Estate. That's a nice little reference. References. I like continuity in my games. Bird, Jaguar, and Captive. A Kahal is a prominent local nobleman. Okay. We're probably going to need to know that, too. Alright, I'll look more at this later. I kind of want to get back inside. Because this, I think, is where we need to go. If it says employees only. So I really want to go and check out my task list. Shipping and receiving. We're probably going to have to get mail from somebody or something like that. What is this? I am Lord Pakal, ruler of the mighty kingdom. Lady Zack Cook ruled P Okay, the there's a lot of stuff pantheistic. here. Oh, man. Are we going to have to listen to all of this? Oh, my goodness. Okay. Well, this is certainly shaping up to be a kind of a different Nancy Drew game. Okay, so we need to find a way to open this up, I'm assuming. If we can grab it. Um, This thing, what is... Ooh! We've got a combination. We got a combination, guys. We got puzzles. Hey, this looks like a device that was used at my first workplace. It was kind of like at a print shop. I don't know if that's what this is, though. Receive. Wow, this is a very tiny space. So I'm assuming I'm going to need to grab something there eventually, right? Sunny stuff. Sunny stuff? You mean Sunny June? Hey, this is our first mention of Sunny June! Awesome. All right, so he probably had a lot of stuff about aliens and Mayans and stuff, literally. 
And what do we've got here? We've got another locked thing. Okay. Kind of getting a feel for what we're dealing with here. I still need that key card, though. I don't think I've got a key card, unless that's what this thing is, but I doubt that's a, car a key card. That looks like a tile I'm supposed to put into something. Um, there's a information um, thingy there. Can I get water? Ha equals water. Can I pull the fire alarm? Nah. Alright, so what do we got to do here? What do we got to do? We got a lot of stuff to look at here in the lab. Ooh, I bet we're going to know this stuff. Periodic table. Um, I know I keep mentioning this every time I see a periodic table in an anti Drew game, but one of these, I think it's Un Un Hexium, this one right here, if I'm not mistaken. Is that 116? Yeah. It is now named Livermorium, which is named after my um, birthplace, which is pretty cool. Alright, so we've got some phone numbers to call. Cool. Check voicemail often. Ooh, that voice. Oof. Okay. Oh, here we go. Oh, so we get a literal task list that we can actually cross out. So I guess Sunny June was our predecessor and he did some of this stuff if this is his pen. I guess we're now using it. So we need to order stuff. We need to match. Oh, okay. Reorder Maya numbering exhibits. Okay. So I'm assuming this first one is what we need for this. The, these pieces for. We need to, to do that. And we've got a book. Which we can't read. Uh, That was weird. We've got a something. Oh, hey. Here's Sunny June's alien filled notebook. Oh man, I hate that bull game. It's all random, or is it? Choosing when I pass, when the computer passes. Four pieces of corn, different than dice. Try Pascal's triangle. No Coco Kringle for you, buddy. Coco Kring... What is this? Grr... I wonder who these are supposed to be. I guess this is like Indiana Jones or something. One in three, frequency of four, two... Oh, this is Pascal's Triangle, okay. Aliens did it! To Mexico, artifacts! Alejandro rocks! So he probably doesn't get along very well with Joanna if he thinks Alejandro rocks. The Beach Hill Gang. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Stop breaking my stuff. Stop losing my things. Quit daydreaming. Uh, who's this person? What she got up her sleeve? Get to work, Sonny. I'm assuming this is Joanna. She's got money coming out of her shirt. Hurricane Sonny, yeah! Help! Beach Hill? Okay. Saw Sinclair the other day. Warning, never look directly at Sinclair's tie. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, that audio narration thingy is going to be so much work. Heh <laughs> heh. Luckily, old Hurricane Sonny managed to... Ahem. Borrow Joanna's notes for this project. Note to self. Must distract Joanna only after her coffee break. Okay, let's see. Garden. Huh, so these look like elements on the periodic table, but... I wonder what significance they serve. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe not. Those are not elements. These, these are just dots, and these are letters that are a part of the... Um, the exhibit things for the audio stuff. Must. Surf. Web. Sigh. Sure wish the lab had a computer. I just have to check out the latest alien adventure game. Justadventure.com Which is a real website, by the way. If only someone would make a game about the Maya and... What does that say? Ross? Throw Ross in some alien... Stuffs, of course, or something. Aliens UFOs, slash UFOs. Temple in the Sky, Sunny's latest adventure game is number one. Wait, is that a game that he made? This museum gig is such a boring job. Uh-oh, Joanna found out about the string stinky cheese incident. 
Big trouble now. I wonder who ratted out on me. Must have been that Coco Bandit. Whoops! I hear Storm and Joanna coming over. Better hide this. So, did he program this game? Ooh, here's the Coco Kringles. I recently had one of these, and it was delicious. Wait a minute, I just noticed something. Wickford? Did Ezra Wickford make Coco Kringles too? I never noticed that. So, this looks like a book, not a computer game. Maybe he wants to make a game out of the book or something. Alright, so that's Sunny June's work desk that we're apparently probably going to be using. There's the... Well, I thought that would be the, the pottery that we would have to reassemble, but I guess not. I can't really look at anything here, it seems. I can't even look at that poster. Wow, okay. So where's the workstation where I need to... Hey, this is... Do not operate without permission. Okay. Where's the workstation where I need to reassemble my doohickey here? Oh, whoa, there's a person here. You must be Nancy, the new deputy curator. I'm Henrik Vanderhuhn. He kind of sounds like K2SO from Rogue One. Pleased to meet you. What are you working on? Just some light housekeeping. I mean, he's all like, I'm an Imperial droid. Why are you wearing that mask? Oh, these dusty old artifacts are murder on my allergies. <clears throat> anyway, what can I do for you? I can't seem to find the addenda to the monolith loan agreement that I'm supposed to bring to Alejandro Del Rio. Sonny June bobbed around this place like an untethered balloon. Who knows where he left those documents? You'll just have to hunt them down. And FYI, Senor Del Rio has been extremely touchy about this monolith loan, so try not to keep him waiting. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a lot of stuff to talk to him about. Um... Okay, um... I feel like we should do this in the next video. See you around, Henrik. Will do. We've kind of been going for a while here, and oh, here it is, there. right here. Now I can start putting this together. I kind of feel like we should do this. Like this, this looks like it will be fun. Well, maybe. Can I rotate these, or are these just gonna stay the way they are? Because if that's the case, then that's that makes this easy. This looks like it should go at the bottom, though. Oh, okay. There we go. That makes more sense. Um, well, I'm not sure I really see... There we go. That works. And then finally this goes. Perfect. Okay, this makes a lot more sense than what I was trying earlier. Wait, that's right? That feels wrong. I'll take it. Gladly take it. And then we put this there. And then finally, we put this there. That's done. All right. We can cross one item off the list. Sweet. Woohoo! All right, so next time we're going to start working on this other stuff. So until then, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to comment, like, or subscribe. It lets me know that I'm doing something right on the channel. And either way, I will catch you on the flip side. So take care and see you then.